What's up, Jaywalkers? We're back at it with another reaction, and we are gonna be watching another movie, and this time it's gonna be red, white, and royal blue. And my excitement and expectations are already through the freaking roof, not gonna lie. This movie has been requested more times than I can count, and you guys really seem to like this one, and you're usually on point with your suggestions, so we're so ready. Um, we, of course, have the poster up right now. Um, it says it's based on a, the New York Times bestseller, so I'm sure it's a, a, a hell of a book, but we have a hell of a poster for this movie as well. We have two well-dressed gentlemen up against the wall here who look like they're having a, a great time. Look like they're in love. Uh, but we love the, the smiles on their faces and we're just ready to see everything that this movie will give to us. Um, but yeah, we're ready to jump right into it. Red, white, and royal blue. Let's go. Future King of England, Prince Philip, Duke of Cambridge, married his childhood sweetheart, Lady Martha Fitzroy. Thousands oh. came to his younger brother, Prince Henry, known affectionately as Prince of England's Hearts, and their younger sister, who's who of international guests, including Alex Claremont Diaz. The charismatic son of the American president. It's often referred to as the American Prince Henry. Hey, here's an idea. How about we skip the party? To Easy, I want to see Buckingham That's Palace, freaking, uh, don't you? Mia from Love Victor. Okay, you've been yucking my yum all day. What's That's going awesome. on? It's the whole Prince Henry comparison thing. Hmm. Entire life attending fancy events like this. He was trained for this. Just remember you're handsome and charming and everyone loves you. <laughs> the revolution happens at the because of this wedding. Oh, shut up, Henry, and get into the spirit of it. The cake alone oh cost 75,000 pounds. <clears throat> they practically had to break the doors down to get it inside. Did I hear that right? <laughs> Jesus. I want to hear this, but that Prince Henry is so yummy. Nora, no. He's such a we snob. see it, though. I don't know white boy I'd go for. But he's the worst kind of rich white boy. So smug and entitled. He's a prince, Alex. He's literally entitled. Have you ever met him? Yes, a few times. He's very animated. He's the world's rudest person. He's the world's most irritating person. Also, I swear <laughs> oh, I love this so already. So know much about you. You're sticking with me tonight. Come on, come on, come on. I love that too. I hope they become bestest of friends. I, I like the way it's starting. <clears throat> that cake. Bigger than my house. We well, I feel like we should not have done that. We <laughs> should do this though. Tough? Oh yeah. Who doesn't love a little Mozart? And a little alcohol. Actually, it's Schubert. Oh, you gotta wonder how many as many as if we put your shoes on auction. <laughs> Rude. Rude. <clears throat> Tell me something, Your Majesty. Oh, does snobbery school or does looking down on people just come naturally to you? Well, in your oh. case, I would say it's rather inevitable. We are the same height. If you say so, Alex. Great to see you. You too, your majesty. Actually, it's your royal highness. Same. What? I am so We're getting this. sorry. This party was boring. Until they, until this started happening. So. Should all be thankful. Oh! Oh! No! What? Henry! They're caked up. That is amazing. Honestly, best opening scene ever. That really was a very good opening scene. Some would say that cake was wasted. I would disagree. That cake it served its purpose. It did what it needed to do, I felt like. But this... Takes the cake? Oh, you hear that, Zara? He's opening with a joke. Maybe he can host the correspondence dinner next year. Uh, so I bad it was good. No. Simple the... instructions. Represent President. the family at the royal wedding. Hell and... yeah. No, by next week, no one will be talking about this anymore. 
And really, no reasonable person is going to even pay attention to the that article, okay? The British people deserve better from our closest ally than this juvenile stunt. And it certainly provides to take to Midwest voters. I'd argue that you don't actually need the Midwest, and there's a path to re-election without the you don't want to hear from me today. What I need. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. I know you are, baby. That's why I need you to fix it. Ah! Sora! Damn! Hey. What are you? Ah. Stop! You're flying back to London tonight. That's a once. Piece. Time to see one another. You and Prince Henry are in fact close personal friends and have been for the last several years. Sora. This is a fact sheet on Prince Henry. Memorize it. He's not six foot two. <laughs> <laughs> and I once saw Mitch McConnell eating a banana. Can I just point out that the royal family are she purely figures? You can hate Prince Henry all you want, but the minute you see a camera, you better act like the sun shines out of his ass and you have a vitamin D deficiency. No. And there is no getting out of this. Myself on fire. We'd ship the ashes to Heathrow. <laughs> I like her. She's serious. Duchess of Edinburgh. First born child of His Majesty <laughs> King James. Seriously like? <laughs> To Claremont Diaz, welcome to Kensington Palace. Sean Srivastava, Prince Henry's Happy apparent. to be Thanks. here! Here comes his royal highness. Hell on wheels! Oh! I'd be choking. Alex, it's good to see you. Please, let's so, ride together in that thing photography. later. Stand to the right of his royal highness. Is that protocol or just his good side? Both. Should we do this? <laughs> yes, DA's bigger than yours, I want you to know that. You're wearing lifts. No, that too, sweetheart. Finished it? Yes, Your Royal Highness. You, you two will never be finished. Dick. Start. I think maybe I can get a little. You're fine. <laughs> Thank you. Two scooching a little closer together. We're best friends ever. Come on. Hmm. Gotta get on his lap. Now, you think of jolly old England. I, I really love it here. Mm. Are the dogs that uh, that wear the sweaters? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, we say jumpers. What three words would I use to describe Henry? White, blonde, and British. British. One thing I most he didn't lie. Best freestyle raps. Well, Come on, do a little for me. No, there's no, no way. But about uh, let's go. Come on. An incredible Barbra Streisand impression. <laughs> <laughs> Voice of an angel, this one. Earth, did you end up on the floor in Buckingham Palace? Covered in cake. Love took us there. happens more often than I think in the palace. You visit this place a lot? Every couple months. Never with photographers, though. Oh, my God. Stay down. Oh, my God. That's how close we should have been in the interview. Yeah, makes sense. Thanks. And why do you dislike me? Conference in Melbourne, first night party. I went to introduce myself to you, and you looked at me like I had head lice. Then we got you turned to your lice. So you do admit that's a douchey thing to say. <laughs> Probably not the best words ever come out of his mouth. I could have been nicer. I couldn't have just been the conference. <laughs> oh my god, it is. Has occupied such a vast mental and emotional space okay. in your head. Sure, when you put it like that. But it was my first foray into the world as a public figure, and I was really scared, and you could have helped me, and you didn't. No. You're right. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I was <clears throat> a prick to you, to everyone in those days. My father had died a few months before, and the palace insisted on... For the record, I, I didn't say get me out of here. I said I need to get out of here, which is a different thing entirely. Oh. It's a little different. Well, now I feel like I need to apologize. Threat neutralized. That was, oh, that was a great moment with them too. Much needed. Eye-opening moment. Seeing them in a different light now. Well, we survived it. And we love it. We never have to see each other again. Wrong. You're expected at my New Year's party. No, <laughs> I, I know. Stand to your right. Oh, yeah. We're getting the hang of it. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, I need to get out of here. But I think it's telling that in it, no matter how silly the so called. We're falling quick! I watched your committee hearing on the flight home. Yeah, you and three other people. You should be tougher on those agribusiness mofos. Well, maybe I can get <laughs> you to push me to cake for me. Beat. 
and privilege and lives in a palace. What? What's that? I'm just brushing that working class chip off your shoulder. Oh, you're now elite and privileged and live in a palace. And your mom is the epitome of authority. Hey, Miguel. What's up? ACD slumming it in Shaw. <laughs> Got a minute? Prince, we're such good friends. Yeah, well, neither did I. Hey, you mind if I put my journalist hat on for a sec? I'm paying nervous the Republicans are going to nominate Richards. The only Republican who makes us nervous is Abraham Lincoln, and I doubt he's running. <laughs> you see, this is why I ask you these things, because you give me quotes like that. You sources That's a quote hell of a quote. I'm going to pass. Ugh. Castañas. I should get going. <laughs> Great way to start the combo. Uh oh. Ah, oh, you're wearing a bow. It's so boring. What do you have against color anyway? Ray is a color, thank you. It's old campaign t shirt. Is this your idea of a prank? <laughs> this is so the next adorable. Box is full of thongs. Centuries. And that's not even considering his personal life. I'm blocking you for the rest of the night. He had London under his spell. Don't you have to commit a crime to be pardoned? Don't look too closely at it. <laughs> I found out that they keep the turkey in a luxury hotel suite and they put the little asshole in my room. Don't ask mommy for a pet if you can't take care of it. Why are you awake? Because some bellies oh decided God. to kill me a World class insomniac. I'm in bed with my dog watching Bake Off. Never occurred to me that the royal family watches television. Platter. No, I just mean, you don't seem like the kind of person- I love the way they're doing this. No, he's named after Bowie. Hang up now. No, I'm hanging up on you. Fine. Have just sleep way. with the phone on. We're falling asleep. No one's hanging up. Good night. No. Oh, I love that. Whole scene, the way they did it so much. And I love them too. So much already. Jesus. 14 page memo detailing how we can win in Texas next year. I spent weeks working on it. I think it's a viable plan that you should take seriously. Yeah, I emailed well. it to senior campaign. Good ideas in here. I really want to help. You do help. You are genuinely useful. Please read my memo. Fine. Thank you. Now get the hell out of my office. Help your mother's campaign. Make sure Prince Henry comes to your party. People like there. him more than they like you. They wouldn't if they knew him. He'll Later. be there. It'll be a piece of cake to get him there. Oh yeah. Dress to impress. And impress I am. And everyone else is. Oh, look at great. Be colorblind. This is obviously copper. You are so annoying. Nora, this is my best mate, Kaiser. Definitely not woman. six foot. This woman I've ever seen in my life. I would love to procure for you the most lavish street in this establishment. Oh, 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 no, we need you today. Come on. Come on. Come on. No dance eventually. He's always eyes are still over the All in the hips. Oh. Loosen up. Loosen up. You're dead. This is going to be so good. Oh. We all had the same reaction when we first heard it. Come on. Let. Loose. Like you're the only two in the room. This dance like with the only two in the room. Let's love like with the only two in this world. My God. We both felt that energy. Oh. No. 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 What are you doing out here? Wishing we would have got that New Year's kiss. That's what? Did I do something wrong? You'd be if you were...
anonymous person in the world, who would you be? Be a writer. His eyes are going to kill me. I'd certainly date more. I date don't interest me, and the people who interest me, I can't date. Oh my god, Henry, I have no idea. Oh! He ain't stopping you. That's a New Year's kiss. We need more fireworks. Unreal and Claremont. The lead from day one. And that's why I could deliver on my plan and bring prosperity. Prosperity! Funny thing happened on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Henry kind of kissed me? I totally privately called that. Once checked me out, and I am what some men would consider exquisite. So from where I'm sitting, Henry is... Kind of gay? More like the first 50 rows of a Gaga concert kind of gay. <laughs> friend Percy? Are you into him? I'm not not into him. Right now, I'm more into getting female identifying candidates. Elected. Love it. Tell me more about this kiss. Did you like it? Loved it! Hair ...in a way that made me understand the difference between rugby and football. <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a yes. I mean, you've been wanting him to dick you down forever. What? Wrong! No, no! First, you've been, like, completely obsessed with Henry for years. I've not Do been... not interrupt me. You've been long-distance text for Let her speak. All day let her preach! For months. You uh, spent the entire... Let her let you see the truth. Ignore. He kissed you. And you liked it. So... Loved it. Objectively, what do you think that means? I can wrap my head around being low level into guys, but what I'm really confused about is being into Henry. Once in high school, and once with Miguel Ramos. The political reporter! Shut up! Well, what's that story there? We once <laughs> made out on the campaign, fully naked, in a hot tub. Okay. I'm feeling he wants me back in that hot tub, but you know, he's a journalist. Right. Well, it's already to be told. Yeah, closeted princess. That's what's there. Alex. What? Your Texas campaign memo. How? Oh, that was super confidential. I'm a journalist, Alex. I quite literally have my sources some good ideas. Our best idea is walking right past you. The campaign putting your memo into action? Because they should. That's Henry. To Alex. Yeah, we're uh, gonna flip Texas. Good to see Ooh. you. Know. Threat. Do we need to clear the room? What? No. I just need to talk to Henry. Laser foot. She's locked in. Private. Pay her more. <laughs> it's adorable. And he's stunned. Nation, my behavior was appalling. Shut up, stop mm -hmm. talking. Oh, yeah. Let's get right to it. No words needed. More kissing. All right, fellas, time's a... up. We gotta get back to, oh, God. Shut the door. Your royal highness? <laughs> you and his royal highness on better terms and not on the floor. Yes, Prime Minister. Henry and I are much happier against walls. Not until later. I have a sensible plan. I'm not done. Oh, of course. Sir. Then at midnight, you're going to come to my room on the second floor of the residence where I'm going to do some very bad things to you. Oh. 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 You're late. What's those bad things you were talking about? Claire, this changes nothing between us. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> you went. It's impossible. When did you start to fancy you? We locked the door. Melbourne Climate Still Conference. Late. First night party. <sighs> Holy fuck. Inhale. What's that? Key to my family's house in Austin. I thought he was going to say the key to my heart, and he was going to take it off and put it around his neck. It's yours now. I think I've ever owned a key in my entire life. I don't just think it's a You're on the key to his heart. Inside. You could say I'm bisexual. Ah, uh, just to put it out there, <laughs> I am as 
gay as a maple. I wouldn't mind doing this again. Me neither. And all. I just can't afford for you to fall in love with me. Okay. Oh, oh, well, no, that's get not what I meant. Oh, you're so ready ready to pay off. I have to tell yeah, you. Yeah, he fell. He fell. All right. Oh my yeah, God. We fall more by the second, by the kiss. I was wondering if you might want to be my guest. Wherever oh. you need him um, to be, he'll be there. I will. You'll be watching on the sidelines. Great. That's <laughs> probably safer for. Everyone. Ooh, he's so in love. And the freaking moments that I love between them two keep piling right on. Here we go. Again. Can't get enough of each other. Dude, this scene, the music, the freaking horses off. There's something I've been dying to ask you. Which are the famous boys of I shag? There's two things I've been asking. <laughs> Do you have a last name? Actually, I have several. So my name is Fox, so my full name is Henry George Edward James Hanover. Under Gabriel Claremont Diaz was a mouthful. He is. <laughs> my sister B is the only one I've told. My mum probably suspects my brother Philip is completely oblivious. They then told me not to let any selfish desires I might be harboring reflect poorly on the crown. That is some bullshit. That is some bullshit. It's my life. Doesn't mean you have to accept it. I realized that everyone in my country knew my name, but I would never know theirs. To Britain. Henry Fox has to belong to himself, or else he'll vanish. Belong to someone else? Only momentarily. Mm. That's a beautiful shot. So is that. So I think that. we should make love tonight. Oh. Love anymore. We're gonna like listen to Lana Del Rey when we do all it. All right, all right. <laughs> I've never. I am so not playing this cool right now. <laughs> Buttons are quite sturdy. Mm. Rigid. <laughs> no wrong it was about you. Most people are. Is there any part of you that Wishes you weren't the son of a president. Politics. Damn. Is all I gotta say about that? You love it, don't you? Yeah, I really do. To know that what you do has a meaningful impact on people's lives. Nothing more beautiful than that. I understand this, but in America, if you're an immigrant with a Z in your last name, there's not a lot of people in positions of power that look like you or I've been given a chance to be someone in the world that my father didn't see when he was growing up. You can't know what that means. I'm learning. Just gotta pause because I gotta pee really bad. And also just to talk about the fact that these two have literally already captured every piece of my heart. They have had some freaking steamy ass moments already, some beautiful, intimate ass moments, and we're getting it all from them too. And I, I really love that last scene we just watched. Um, I felt like I interrupted something. I felt like I sh maybe shouldn't have been watching what them two were experiencing and the magic that was happening in the room that night. But. Holy hell, it was a hell of a scene, and we love that. I love the way it all started, too, with them freaking... I gotta pee, but... I love the way it all, all started, too, with them two freaking not liking each other. Not understanding each other fully. But we're loving it.
so far. Tell Miguel Ramos that we had a plan to flip Texas. What? No. 16 tweets today. All yeah. legal. All I said to Miguel is that Texas is competitive and we intend to win it. I didn't think he'd write an article well, about it. Well, he has. So now we have to explain to everyone that we don't, in fact, have a new Texas strategy. Firing up the youth vote, building a grassroots movement. Why aren't you fighting for your home state, Ma? I am fighting for my administration. I will not be the first woman to lose re-election to this office. It's, it's killing me in the Rust Belt. That's where we need to focus. I need you to be realistic. Is that why you got into politics? To be realistic? 330 million. They need me to be realistic so they can be idealistic. You are no longer allowed to speak to the press. Oh. Do you understand me? 27, not 28 when you won your first election. Ask any of the women who work for you. They'll be able to tell you that. Oh! oh that. My first Texas campaign, your grandmother saved everything. Every press clipping, every button, every flyer. And your memo. Good work. We're sending you to Texas. Dear Henry, greetings from the Lone Star State. Oh, it's hard yeah. to work. Home sweet home. It can make a real difference. The only thing that would make Come it on, Texas! Dear Alex, Don't let us I can't down. think of a so tell you that when we're apart, you'll tell us everything. back to me in my dreams. I can Henry. feel the skin against mine, and it makes every bone in my body ache. Tell us every smut filling my inbox, corrupting my mind, and bulging my pants like this. Yes, we can. Look, buddy, yes, you know we I'm can. From all the photos you're posting, it really makes me want to visit. Yes, I was just thinking that I want you to come and see it one day. Yeah, Alex, it's becoming increasingly difficult to attend wow. this ribbon cuttings while you're out. To there. everything! Oh. We're getting. I miss you. My heart is here. Henry. Totally one over. I believe what you're describing is called imposter syndrome. I know what but I know that you are not an imposter. Just hit a million voters! I'm reminded of one of my <laughs> or think that defines us, but what we do. And I think that what you're doing is amazing. Excellent words. Yes. Six Claremont Diaz is addressing the crowd. Let's listen in. My mom has inspired me One every Alex. day of my life. She has passed Ted down to a fashion for America. Has you at the center, your hopes, your values, your future. Oh my God. Each. There we go. Looked really good up there. Hey, Miguel. Bye, Miguel. Problem between us, Alex? Yeah. The problem is you sandbagging me and my mother's campaign on your little wannabe Washington Post website. That quote. Buenas noches, cabrón. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, just a bit of he has many great quotes. In my room right now. Immediately. Miguel, get your eye back on your drink. No, I'm worried. <laughs> Miguel's gonna be a fucking problem here. For yourself. Once, unsuccessfully. <laughs> You ever been on Grinder? <laughs> Once unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. Hmm, what's your favorite movie? Oh, in the mood for love. No, he's he's that's what he's in the mood for. He's not in the mood for movies. It is only he's in the mood for love. Have you ever had your heart broken? The day my dad died. That'll do it. Oh, oh shit. Oh god. Is there someone in there? Hey, oh. do you mind? Oh. Come on, Zara. Close on now. Zara. Get what back out. Phone in here. OK, so she left her phone in here. Big oh. deal. It's all chill, Zara. Where is she? It's all doing? chill. Sorry, Zara, stop tripping. From Rando, the night before your mother's acceptance speech, you don't have her sign an NDA. You know, that Rando, it's the love of our Let her bring her phone in here. Love. Good morning. She's like, not who I was expecting it. <laughs> do you want to see? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Where, where, where do you want to go? To get us some water before she passes <laughs> out. Okay. We got no shirt on. We got no pants How on. How long has this been and going on? We got on? Zara tripping balls. Right, and Nora. Oh, and I told my sister. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she was really. It's high getting high. out. Oh, I can't re salt, and you're asking me not to tell your mommy on well, you? I haven't told her yet. Oh, gee, kid. I'm sorry to interrupt your. Would it make any difference if I told you not to see him again? No. 
Every time I see you, it takes another year off of my life. You, little Lord Fuckleroy, you get your ass back to merry old England right now. I want you chewing on a goddamn crumpet by sunset, and if anyone sees you leave this hotel, I will Brexit. Sure, darling. What's up? About our friend across the pond. You look very serious. That's our good friend. I've met someone. Huh. Is that all? Honey, that's great. I mean, why would that be relevant to the campaign? <laughs> <I'm> no. <laughs> well, she's not a she. She's also a <laughs> he. <laughs> he happens to be Henry. Then the Prince of England. A lot yeah. taken, and we're in love. Need some pizza. <laughs> so are you? Are you gay? By flu? Oh my Quick. God! If I had more warning. I could have made you a PowerPoint presentation, but <laughs> <laughs> can I give this you some so advice? To figure out if you feel forever about him before you take this any further. Oh, we do. I don't know if we're there yet, Mom. I know. I know. I'm gonna make sure you know you need to wear a condom if you're having anal intercourse. Oh my god. And we can we can talk about getting you on Truvada and Ridiculous. I cannot believe they gave you the nuclear code. Damn. And you have to tell your father. <clears throat> oh. Hmm. Wait, I had to let though. This is I'm Great mom. Oh, well, this is Alex Claremont DS. You get used to the exceptional. I love you. Oh. Wait a hand Dear Henry. Precious moment. Well, I just came up to my mom. I was never afraid of her. My parents bought a vacation house after my mother's birthday. looks good in that text. Long long so that I'm Don't let Henry see you in that hat. Please, that that. please say yes. Do you again, sir? What's with the sir? Please call me Congress. Oh, well, in that case, you can call me your Royal Highness. <laughs> Who should be listening to? <laughs> oh, my goodness. To the window! <laughs> Do that again. I fucking love his parents, man. I fucking love the whole vibe of this movie. He's wearing the hat. Oh, he looks great in the hat. Damn hat. We love it. They're currently not doing karaoke. I'm burning through the sky, yeah. 200 degrees like that out of you. Oh my. See, you can't snap out of that. You can put so in you. love. I am so in love with this movie, dude. Holy shit. What the like? I wasn't sure if you needed to have like a Catholic moment about it. Or... Please. <laughs> have a little more faith in your old man. Please. You are, after all, talking to the patron saint of gender neutral bed. And I were a stupid idea, too. We were just babies when we had you. Nobody thought we'd. Once again, love his freak parents. Look at us now. We gotta jump. Hope you're not standing on the cliff. I got chills. We're jumping. Ooh. I've been thinking. Oh, I seriously doubt that. Oh, I seriously doubt that. Hopefully be in office again, and we won't have to worry about winning any more national elections. And I'll have a lot more freedom. Maybe next summer we could come back here for like a couple weeks. Of course. We could be naked. That's sex and oh. I can take you around to all the places I grew up. And you can get to understand my life a little more. Mm. I never felt this way about anyone. It's like there's a God. rope attached to my chest and it keeps pulling me towards you. There is Henry. I'm Did things with Alex. Oh, Hen. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'll find out. Not this time, but I felt myself <gasps> getting to this. Your heart. 
Have you thought about calling Mum? Have definitely been saving elephants in Botswana. Shattered. It's all so silly, isn't it? The idea of royalty in the 21st century, it's, it's so antiquated. Cheer up. At least you'll never be king. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love him? What yeah. What make if I did? It makes every difference. Oh, that's so sad. Come on! Pick up the phone. Now let's fly to Texas. Answering my texts or taking in my calls. Wait it out. I can't wait it out. Hurts like crazy. hell waiting. Hurt. Go to London. Get your man. She's spitting. Get your yeah. man's. Your man's. Sir. Oh, no. What's going on, Henry? A week ago, we were happy, and then you disappear without saying a word? And turn my feelings off as easily as you. Do you honestly think this is easy for me? What else am I supposed to think? You guys argue you it's not easy for any to fight for us. Ah! It costs you nothing! I've been losing my mind this week because the man I love has vanished Cost from him his mind. Life. I stormed a fucking castle to look you in the eye and tell you that I love you knowing that you wouldn't say it back. So no, I at least deserve to know why. Oh, for Christ's sake, Alex, for once, I wish you could see me for who I am and not who you want me to know me at all. I'm not like you. I can't afford to be reckless. My shoulders. My God. life is the crown. And yours is politics, and I will not trade one prison for another. Of you. And want you. And, and still not want that life. A man with some infinitesimal shred of self preservation, and you don't get to come in here and call me a coward for it. Figure out a way to love each other on our own terms, no one else's. That is simply not possible, and you know it. Make it possible. We have to. Fine. Have to love each other. I'll leave. And live happily. Ever. Your life and nothing will ever happen to you. When Henry happened to you. Hear him. Hear those words. If you want me to go, you have to tell me to leave. The thing is behind you. Don't make me. Because I would never leave this room if I didn't think there was any hope of holding on to the happiness that I have found with you. Me. Oh so tell me to go, Henry. God. And I promise I will walk out that door and trouble you no longer. There's something I want you to see. The acting in that fucking scene was amazing. I just needed to pause for a minute to freaking breathe after that. He used to bring me here. Early in the morning, before the museum opened. How I like to come at night. No one else is around to gawk at you. Slip between the statues like a shadow. Of taking somebody I loved here. James can't you love as much as I did. Dance. Right here, amidst all these Come statues of pubescent fantasy. He turned music. We did. This gets better and better. How? I will try and be brave for us. We can do it. To include you. And my love for you. Do it, huh? Yeah, we can make some. This is perfection. I want you to have some part of me. Until you can have all of me again. 
I knew I knew that key would fucking be his. I love you. I'll be as patient as you need. Patient. Go on an election. Go on. Where's it, Grandpa? Oh God. Your emails to Alex have been hacked. Oh. I posted overnight to Reddit. Security photos of the two of you at the VNA have been popping up. Oh, he knows. All of them. Oh, okay. I'm afraid you can't, sir. I've taken the liberty can't of tell him what he can your and can't do as a precaution. What? And laptop as well. What? No. You can't do this. It is believed that this is the work of certain rogue elements within the media. It's to him, um, uh, to the White House. I've tried my contacts within the White House with no luck. ...which the Mirror is calling the Waterloo Letters, details the romance of Prince Henry and Alex Claremont. This is trying to stay on message. This is obviously a critical time for the president in her re-election bid. Polls have her in a dead heat with Governor Richard. Ramos of Politico, who was the first American journalist to break this story and who has written extensively... Is this anyone's business? After all, Alex Claremont Diaz is a private citizen. He isn't at all a private citizen. He's playing an active role in his mother's case. Emails clearly show a pattern of obfuscation around this relationship, and it's my job to examine and contextualize them. I'm curious. The first article was posted at 2.30 a.m. Monday morning. How did you have time to read nearly seven? I'm not sure what you're getting at. Yeah, Miguel. Are you really that quick, or did you perhaps have advanced knowledge that this leak was going to happen? He's freaking garbage. Thing of this year. As many of you have already read, We've struggled every day with what this means for our family. Neither of us is naive about what it means to be public figures. We never imagined our most private and intimate thoughts, fears. What was taken from us this week was our right to determine for ourselves how and when we should share our relationship and queer identities with the world. They have the right to come out on their own terms and on their own timeline. They also have the right to choose not to come out at all. The forced conformity of this isn't about shame. This is about privacy and the fundamental right of self-determination. Another truth that's much simpler. I fell in love with a person who happens to be a man, and that man happens to be a prince. Henry George, Edward James, Hanover Stuart Fox. I hope one day we'll have a relationship on our own terms. Thank you. Knocked it out of the park. I hope Henry was watching. I'm watching. Worried. Whereas his eyebrows. Oh. It's the cutest thing. Oh. Everything y'all do together. I just have to do everything. Could together. be considered the cutest thing. In my opinion. They've had a lot of cutest things here. Look, I know we said we'd only use these. Not sure we haven't even seen the cutest thing well, yet. You put these two lovesick homosexuals on the phone with one another. I don't care what any of those wrinkled white men at Buckingham. I love her. Are. Perfect ass over to the prince, hand him your phone, or so help me God, you will never see me naked again. Wait, what? Is it keeping secrets, kiddo? But I'm not. Sarah, I could kiss you. Touch me and die. Hello? I like it. I ship it. Are you okay? No. No, I'm not okay. You know what? I'm coming to London tonight. Oh! <laughs> Freaking show off. Have you heard from your grandfather yet? Not a word. So lost right now. They used to call me the Prince of England's heart, and now it feels like everyone hates me. Definitely not everyone. And now nobody we hates are you. Faced with the reality. How can anyone hate this precious? How? Your speech was beautiful. It really was. I'm very proud to be your boyfriend. Excuse me, sir. The king wishes to see you. Oh. Both of you. Both? Too late to get out of here and fly to the Maldives. Tempting. But I think it's time I stood up for myself. Vice, Philip. Yes, will you continue to make a mockery of yourself and in turn? 
Light one up for this. And man, we're getting the freaking the good stuff. Out. A number of unscrupulous governments who routinely concoct wholesale fabrications about prominent people. Those that might explain these unseemly reports. It's all true, Grandpa. Directed Palace Communications to issue a firm denial of these accusations, from which I am determined to protect you. I want your protection. I want your support. You deserve to be happy. Henry, no one is suggesting that you don't deserve to be happy. I'm but to throw away your we should see him because of one man with Alex, he'll ever freaking be. So just support that, please. A mad infatuation. Alex and I deal. love each this other. This is it. This is love like no other. I've read your emails, Henry. All of them. They leave no doubt that your love is genuine. Your primary responsibility is not to your heart, but to your country. Get out of the question. Mr. Claremont Diaz, let me disabuse you of the idea that your contribution to this conversation is in any way welcome. Damn. You are part- Did you see his speech earlier? See how good he is with words oh, and quotes? Good. You need all the freaking words and opinions from and we can get nation simply will not accept a prince who is homosexual. Well, how many people? Right, <clears throat> that's settled then. What is it that we've settled? Take you to KP. Oh my God, Henry, look at this. Support. Henry, Support. Kensington Palace immediately. Come on. Manchester. I want to see the crowd. Birmingham, Cardiff. Yeah. And Let's go! Oh, that's... Gonna be the prince of shame. Amazing. And of secrets. Today, the world will know me for who I am. Not who you want me to be. Yeah. You, you can't go out there. Holding hands held high, we're going out there. Out there. Then we're freaking... Waving the Are flag. Sure? We're having a great time out there. That's what we need. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. It's a tie. Both the same height. Both love each other. The same, which is the max amount. And this, this is so great. The entire race oh. now hangs on Texas. It's possible we are just minutes Texas, away come on, we're built for this, Texas. President of the United States. Let's turn this shit around. Crikey, that's a lot of red. Yes, it is. It's all gonna come down to Texas. Come on. How this works again. Well, the Wouldn't team. have it any other way. President's home state. Texas, of course, has 40 electoral votes. This is intense, very dude. Bluntly, to... And simply, it's easy to do the math here. Right. Whoever wins. It's never about just me. It's about the country we hope to lead to our children. You may remember that it was her son, Alex Claremont. Texas. Tonight, if it paid off. Come on. This is nerve-wracking. You fought hard, and it isn't over yet. You still haven't noticed my tie. But it was a thing in Texas. I thought it might bring you some luck. Oh my, I'm so grateful. There's no you. way we lose this. No freaking way. Even if we lose, I think we won. Won. Yeah. At life, we won at love. Texas? Come on! I knew we had an Aztec. Good shit, everybody. Whether or not their plant will be shut down. God, Texas. And your voice is blended tonight with the voices of millions of Americans just like you. Sure. We did it. What do we do now? Keep doing it in the world of our storm and keep freaking living life and doing amazing things. That's what we do always and for best. We won. We won. Now we keep winning. You can close, huh? Well, shut up, your majesty. Do you want me to give you a tour of the house? Yes. Lead the way, dog. All right, so I can find the first step. 
far too thin. Fuck you, Miguel. Dude, this movie is just great. Like, that just brought me pure happiness. I love this movie so freaking much. And I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't watch this the second it dropped. I've been missing out, but I can see what all the freaking uh, requests for this movie. I can see what that was about. I can see why you guys loved it and constantly talk about this movie uh, because I will be joining you now um, I'm I, I will be the biggest red white and royal blue stand that was a beautiful movie um, and I love Alex and Henry this freaking love story they had uh, was incredible and once again I love the way it started on how you know they didn't like each other deep down inside they were in love all always but they didn't like each other they misunderstood each other, but quickly got out of that. Quickly realized that, hey, I fucking love this man. I mean, I love like every, I love that like every like sad moment we got here, and like every time like bad things were happening or could happen, it was like quickly shut down. Anytime we were freaking sad, oh, I'm getting on a freaking plane to see you. Any, just I feel like. Just all this sad shit was erased so quickly by so many beautiful moments here that were much needed. And, dude, we got we got a lot of beautiful moments. Oh, my God. But they kept piling up absolutely beautiful all the way through. So wholesome. And, yeah, once again, we just love them, too. We love this cast. Uh, I feel like everybody... Was great here, Zara, um, Nora, uh, the freaking president. We loved everybody here except Miguel. Miguel, we did not like him from the. I don't know. I just didn't like him from the start. But yeah, we had a great time watching this movie, guys. We were filled once again with so many incredible moments, dude. But Definitely can't wait to watch that one again. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that one with me. Um, yeah, thank you guys 